What's going on, Flow Combat? It's your man, Old Bo. I'm here with you. We're on this Flow Combat road trip to the East Coast run. What better place to start than than than, than Boston and Joe bad. and Joe Lozon? You know, like my whole theme is about you know making people fall back in love with fighting. I don't think anybody's ever watched your fight didn't love it. I try to have good fights. I try to have good fights. A few good like, fights. Yeah, a few good fights. A couple good ones. One yeah. Or two. One or two. Uh, those those ears show the bonuses, yeah, right? right? Ears, scars, everything. Yeah. So man, yeah. So thank you for uh, having us out. And and yeah, man, like this 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 just kind of gets started with. Uh, we'll start with what you got going uh, right now. With uh, you know, they just announced the Guida fight. Yep. And Hunter and I were talking on the way here. Uh, you guys are fighting in Norfolk, and we we're like, we can't believe that Joe Lozon and Clay Guida haven't. Fought. It's, yeah. it's crazy. Our paths just haven't crossed. You know, we haven't. You know, it's it's so tough for a fight to happen you know it's like I have to be coming off a winner or loss he has to be the same way got to kind of be the same ranking roughly the same ranking we both got to be healthy you know it's just there's a lot of things going on but it's, it's been a long time it should have happened a long time ago now now you're a guy that's uh, you've been outspoken about like the business you've been outspoken about the, the game the it's a it's a changing environment now yep. and, and what have you seen since you know starting back before you know the ultimate fighter and then to, to now how much have you seen this business change in, in, in the time that you've been in that cage? Uh, the big thing is just the, the scale of everything has just changed you know it was so crazy like there'd be like one guy you know, back in the day with Greg Hendrick he did all the medicals he did all the licensing he did everything for every single card you know now it's like they have two three cards in a week sometimes like it's it's crazy it's just everyone it's so much more spread out now there's so many very specific jobs that people have uh, exposure is crazy different now you know like before it was like you can go anywhere no, no problem at all now it's like I go anywhere I get someone you know it's never I'm never getting mobbed but there's always someone coming up like hey I saw your last fight or good luck against Guida or, or whatever you know so uh, it's cool it, it's awesome now and then you were one of the first guys to really start with the uh, like the vlogs and the and the uh, letting fans behind the clo like closed doors. So kind of like that. I mean, without some of the stuff you've done, like like the stuff that we're doing right now, like fans don't see it. Yep. Like, you were the first guy to really kind of. Uh, open the doors on that, and now that's like the norm. Yeah, it, it's it's awesome, you know. I, so my first fight was against Jens Pulver, UFC 63. It was like 2006, and I don't think we did video blogs so much for that fight, but like shortly after that, I think like maybe our next fight we started doing a lot more video blogs, and uh, we were bummed after the fight with Pulver because we didn't take enough pictures, we didn't do enough video. We were just there, and we were kind of focused on the fight, and that was it. Um, but we had nothing to kind of you know c c come away with after the fight, so. Uh, so right off the bat, we do the video blogs, and, and we're, we we love that everyone else likes to see them. But but those are for us as much as much as anyone else, you know. Like it's great to be able to go back and watch fights. Like I, I go back all the time and I check out video blogs, like older ones, and just kind of see like some things are the same and some things are just so different. It's just it's really really cool though. <laughs> I gotta ask you too, man. This is like just kind of a personal wondering. Like you know, you fought Jens Pulver and beat Jens Pulver, then you had to go in the Ultimate Fighter. That's like saying like like what if you like ran into your English teacher for you knew he was your English teacher and you kicked yep. your English teacher's ass, <laughs> and then you're like, oh you. Then you check in, you're like, oh man, I got Mr. Jacobs for English, you yeah. know? Like, yeah. was that weird? Uh, it was a little bit weird. It, it, it was less weird, though, because... So I fought I fought Jens Bulver, I knocked him out, like a minute, and then I hung out with him and talked to him for like 45 minutes, like for the press conference thing after the fights. So it wasn't so awkward there, but that would have been really, really awkward to go and not see him until going on the Ultimate Fighter. Uh -huh. uh, but again, it was good because it was good exposure. It was good media training. It was good to be in front of people every single week, you know, for like 12 weeks or whatever it was. Um, it was great that I got to focus for the first time 100% on fighting. Until then, I was like going to school full time. I was working like 30 hours a week. I was training. Like I was trying to do so many different things. But doing the Ultimate Fighter was the first time that I got to just just focus on just training and you know don't worry about any of other stuff. It was nice. Yeah, and and you know now this is a series that's gone on for how long? And like, it, 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 but it, do you think it's savable? I mean, like, like the, the the Ultimate Fire had those key seasons, but it seems like there's just many more forgettable ones now than there is yeah, great ones. It, it, it's good and it's bad, you know, because a lot of people like the drama, but a lot of people like me like to watch the fights. Yeah, and I, I think the Dana White Contender series is awesome. I think that is such like a good step in the right direction uh, to make it better, but the average person that they love the drama you know, mm -hmm. they love you know like my, my, my wife constantly watching like teen mom and all sort of stuff it's like just <laughs> drama 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 you know like reality tv is good um so the, the dana white contender series is kind of missing that element but um but i, I think the dana white contender series is a great step but i don't, I don't think the ultimate fighter is going away i think that there's, there's there's too many people that tune in to watch it and there's too much history there right too much but like okay on the on the dana white series I totally agree. Like you cut out, you just see the fights, the good stuff. Uh, big point of contention has been Snoop. Like yep. a lot of fighters spoken out about, man. Like 
they, they just don't like that element of yep. it, you know? And what, what's your take? So I was excited for it in the beginning. I thought it'd be great because I, I always thought that the Mike Goldberg and Joe Rogan dynamic was great because Goldberg would say stuff that wasn't so smart and then Rogan would tell him what was going on. And to me, that was always great because Rogan was kind of the educated fan and Goldberg was like the uneducated fan. And some people aren't educated, they just don't know. So if they're tuning in, they don't really know what's going on. So Goldberg would ask a question and, and Rogan would kind of answer it and explain it to the, the, the casual viewer. And I kind of felt like Snoop and Uriah were going to be the same thing. Uriah's been there every every step of the game, knows so much. He's funny. He, just, he was great dynamic with Snoop. Uh, and Snoop would not know as much, and Uriah would kind of explain. To me, the part I don't like is like Snoop like singing, you know, singing songs and singing lullabies and guys getting knocked out. Yeah, it's like, yeah. I feel like it's like a, a serious lack of respect there. Um, you know, so like, and he had stuff like on Instagram about when Connor lost. Like, they just like, I, I felt like going into it, I had an open mind. I thought it was going to be a really good fit. After it happened, I think maybe not. So. Yeah, it's over the line a little bit. You yeah, know, I think I think that the, the the joking around and having fun is like we watched the Snoop cast every single time we watched it. Yeah, you know, but because it was just it was just interesting to hear. It was different. You know, it was different than like your stand up. You know, you know, color commentary team. But uh, the disrespect was, was pretty bad. I felt like that's over the line a little bit. Yeah, and then you know, let's talk about the you know the the overall journey a little bit. And that's what's so cool about like when I look at your career and like you know we've done interviews for years, but you're a guy who you know. Um, consistency is the hardest thing to do in life in general in this game it's even harder yep. but the to, to have the staying power and longevity in this game yep. you know what I mean to, to be perennially one of the top guys and fighting and holding that standard I mean does this seem crazy to you that you've you've come so like you've made a career out of this when it was just something that wasn't even it's really a super thing? crazy it's super crazy you know and like and I, I've been consistent like I'm always in the gym I'm always getting better I'm always working on stuff but I've been super inconsistent on winning fights. I'm, it's always like I win one or two and I lose one. I win one, I lose one. You know, like it's I'm constantly there. You know, and and I try. I I feel like I'm doing all the right stuff. Uh, I train with good people. I, I have you know good training partners that push me in the gym. Uh, I'm always working on stuff. I'm always consistent, but it's just it's tough. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's, all, it's just tough. You know, I've been here for a long time, uh, but it, it's just it's a tough sport. Injuries and everything else. It's, it, it takes a toll for sure. And, but, and you're such an analytical guy, though, and, and everything you do is that is that still part of why it's appealing to you? Is that like it's it's not just the like the primal side like uh, of fighting, but there's there's an analytical side of of this game that happens in, in live time that is is always going to be a puzzle. Is that side that still gets you excited to go out here? And for sure, I love I love the the strategic side of it. I love analyzing guys, um, you know. And sometimes we guess right on the money and we game plan perfectly. And the fight goes great. Other times we we game plan and we think we have figured out, and then it no, doesn't work. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh shit! Yeah. Never, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but it's just you know we, we we put a lot of thought into it. Just sometimes we go the wrong way. Yep. You know. But uh, but yeah, that's definitely the part that, that keeps me excited. That's what, the part that keeps me into it. You know, I'm not. You know, I've had fights like I I've stopped fights on my own. When I fought Gomi, you know, like, I I had him. I freaking I was punching and I stopped the fight on my own. You know, I'm not out there just trying like oh just trying to really put it on. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm trying to win fights, but I'm not trying to you know brutalize someone. I'm just trying to win whatever whatever gets the job done now i mentioned the the bonus word earlier and we have you know i've, I've had the pleasure of uh, you know i live in the city of good friends with chris lytle uh he's right up there uh and and yourself we worked together for a long time and you know the the guys who go out and put it on the, it seems like there's like a breed like I, when i think of it i think of like yourself jim miller i think of like carlos condit uh, Lytle and then but now there's there's a, a different side there's an athlete side of the sport specific now mm -hmm. you know what I mean yeah it's like the games change where guys will go out and just try to win to win and like that fighter side the the, the Frankie Edgar like those like you guys are a dying breed you know a little bit you know like so a lot of us like that are kind of like the, when you think of like that fighter uh, we're not the, the crazy best athletes you know sometimes you get some some correlation where you know guys are really good fighter that really wants to fight and get after it is a good athlete but a lot of times it's not we're all okay athletes but we're not super athletes yeah um, maybe Frank is a super athlete he's, he's really good cardio. <laughs> but um, you know but a lot of these guys are not super athletes you know so uh, you know the super athletes come in and just making it making it tougher you know it's tougher you know fatigue makes cowards of us all you know yeah. so it's like Most you get those super athletes it's tough to kind of keep pace and keep going you know uh -huh. but we're trying no, and then we talked about you know some of the exposure stuff. Uh, one community that uh, we you know we work with a lot with Flow Combat, and one community that loves you is Reddit. Love Reddit, right? You know, Reddit, uh, Reddit MMA. Um, they uh, you know they they love some Joe Lozon, and this is gonna go right up on Reddit MMA. So awesome. You know, well, what 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 do you like about that community? Uh, I like about Reddit because I love the whole upvoting and downvoting thing. You know, people that are you know saying good stuff and contributing, they get upvoted. People that are talking trash and just making no sense, they get downvoted. You know, and to me that's awesome because 
you know, it's it, it works that way for all the main type, you know, the main links and the, the the self posts and everything like that. But it's also the same thing with all the comments, you know. So you get a real good feel for like what the overall community thinks, you know. Um, I've been posting that for a long time, so you know, they they, they definitely they, they seem to like me. You know, there was a there was one point where they were like there was a little bit of like a witch hunt a little bit about people posting their own stuff, and I'm like, dude, like I post like one thing about it and I comment like thirty times. Like I'm not just you know so they're back they're back on you know I'm back on the good side. Yeah, wait, where Reddit goes? That's Love. right. Like you're like don't piss Reddit off. Yeah. But also I love about the community is they do not like suffer fools or bullshit. You know what yep. I mean? Like they 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 see what it is. They don't like it's not one of the like the other kind of forums things like that. If it's if it's legit, it's going up. If, yep. it, if it's if it's the other thing too is it's like so I'm one person. I can go and check all these news sites, but I can only check so much. Even on Twitter and stuff like that. With Reddit, I, I can check Reddit. So I check Reddit compulsively. Even when I'm not posting, I'm checking all the time. Yeah. Because anything, I, I always sort by new, and anything that's, that's, that's breaking news is always there. Because Boom, there's hits. so many people, and yeah. everyone's trying to get that karma. Everyone's trying to be the first to post it. So uh, it's it's always, it's, it's great for just, you know, quick, you know, breaking news stuff. It's, it's awesome. Now, you're also a guy who's had a lot of gritty fights. A lot There's been a lot of blood in those fights. Is there, like, you, you, like, work in blood like some artists work in clays and oils yeah like like is there a point where you looked around and you're like fuck this is just, like this is too much blood like somebody like this, like like an abnormal I amount i don't think there's ever too much blood i try to keep all my blood inside uh but i remember when i fought jim Miller, it was like you know looking up at a shower and it just it was all just blood though it was just like rushing down my face it was like <laughs> that was tough and people don't realize is that blood is so oily so like i'm a grappler usually i'm trying to grab people i'm trying to you know take yeah. them down and, and hold them and submit them and, and beat them up but once you start adding all that blood, it gets so much tougher. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's, it keeps you excited. Well, and then that's what I say. When you look at, like, I remember a picture uh, that they took after that fight. You guys are both, like, on the ground. You guys kind of, like, laying on each other. There's blood everywhere. Like, everybody wins that fight. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, that yep. that's what a fight is. And that's a fight, if you're not a, a fight fan and, and you're trying to show if you're trying to show somebody who's not a fight fan, you're trying to show somebody what a fight is, that's a fight. Yeah. No, that was good. I, honestly, I, I had an awesome time. You know, like I had a huge cut on my forehead. Uh, I looked like Frankenstein walking through the airport after the fight, like scaring little kids. But while the fight was going on, it was awesome. It was like, it was a really, really fun fight. That's the kind of fight I wish I could have every single time. Now, I don't necessarily have to be covered in so much blood, but we were on the, we were fighting on the feet, we were fighting on the ground, we were working for takedowns, you know, we clinched stuff. Like it was, it was really good. It was, it was fun. It was a good time. And then uh, you know we're, we're flow combat, but our brothers at Flow Grappling, uh, they have a uh, they have the eighty the Abu Dhabi uh, Combat Championships coming up here, twenty third and twenty fourth. You're a grapp you're, you're you're a guy who has made a career out of your ability to work on on, on the uh, on the mat. You're you know jujitsu. You, you got you got some tricks. You got a yep. slick game. What's it? What what are your thoughts on that on that specific tournament on like the ADCCs? Uh, ADC is awesome. You know, it, it's always good. It's always exciting. It's always the best guys. Um, you know, I feel like it's, it's the only term that has like real money consistently year after year, which is, is great for the grapplers. Um, and I feel like they, um, they they're trying to encourage the the best grapplers to come out and be aggressive and stuff like that. Like it's kind of I, I hate watching guys that go out and like they both like both pull guard and try yeah. to footbox. Like I, I love footbox, but I think it's kind of like it's kind of ruined the sport a little bit when it, you just get two guys that both just drop and guard, trying to roll for legs the entire time. And yeah. Kind of. It kind of takes away like the the meat and potatoes out of grappling a little bit, but it's exciting. You know, it's awesome. It's it's great to see those those really really good you know tough grapplers go out there and, and put it on. I mean, they're the best in the world. You know, it's it's awesome. Do you think like now with more like it seems like more and more in the last couple of years that because you know forever it was like the reputation so like you know there's a lot on the line in those jujitsu. They have schools yep. and you know, there'd be a lot of points and draws and yep. it was just like basically showing up. And now when you go to like submission only tournaments like we have submission like Chael Sonnen's thing we have like Sug. Uh, on uh, on flow combat and flow grappling yep. too, like it's like submission only. Where that's like that's a little more fighting based. Like yeah, like somebody's winning, somebody's losing yeah. this thing. You know, I, I like that better for sure. You know, it, it's awesome. You know, it's uh, it, it's great that you know all these these grapplers are getting more exposure now. You know, in, in flow wrestling and flow grappling and like it's helping out a ton. You know, all that stuff is, is helping out a ton. It's, it's great media exposure. Those guys deserve it. You know, like a lot of times there was no money in any of those sports. Yeah, because there was no exposure. You know, now it's like those guys get more exposure. It's it's awesome. So uh, my last question for you, we can, uh, you know, well, I'll let you get back with your life. Is, you know, you've you've accomplished a lot in, in your career. Uh, you know, you're you're still like new challenges. You're still progressing. You're still doing great things. Like, what is like? Is, is there something? Is there things in your mind where you're like, I need to check that box and I'll be satisfied? Or is, or is it just gonna be one day when you're like, you know what? 
I, 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 I've done it, and uh, you know. it's gonna it's gonna be a feeling. I'm gonna wake up one day and be like, you know what? That's it. I'm all done. You know, yeah. like. But but I, I don't think it's anytime soon. I'm not delusional. I don't think I'm gonna have had you know 25 fights in your seat. I don't think there's another 25 fights in there. You know, but like. But how many more? Is it three? Is it eight? Is it ten? Like, I really don't know. You know, yeah. I, I don't feel any worse than I did at twenty one. You know, like I, I take a little bit longer to warm up and to, to, really to try and avoid injuries. But I don't feel any worse now on a day to day basis than I did when I was twenty one. So I feel good. I'm always getting better. Uh, you know, like there's said so it always seems like there's guys that are better athletes are coming up. You know, so at some point it's gonna be it's just gonna be you know futile. It's gonna be like I'm wasting my time like trying to do this. But I don't think that's yet. I think I'm I think I'm still in there. I, think, uh, I still enjoy I enjoy going to the gym every single day. I enjoy getting better. Uh, I do enjoy the fights. Uh, so I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. But I don't think it's like a set. Like, oh, I got two fights left or one right. fight after. You know, I feel good. I feel really good. Let me ask you an, uh, <clears throat> an easier question or a better question. Yep. What are you more excited about, Last Jedi or Infinity War? Uh, you know, what? honestly, lot, lots of Destiny 2. I've yeah. Been, I've, I've been playing a lot of Destiny 2. I just beat the raid. It came out on Wednesday. I already beat it. Uh, I'm I'm super excited about, about <laughs> everything coming for there, but lots of Destiny too. Yeah, it's the only thing I'm gonna oh, probably the only thing I'm gonna play in the next probably six months. All right, but but, but like the new Star like movies wise, yeah, yeah, new Star Wars yeah, or yeah. Infinity War. I mean, you gotta give me an answer. Star Wars, Star Wars for sure. Is it just because it's a longer playoff? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like this shit's I mean, been going on for. It's been going on forever. You gotta you gotta watch them all now. They got they hit us with it. It was gonna be every two years. Now they hit us every year with all these little side movies. Like it, it's good. Yeah, but, but it's but it's something that's been generational. So now you can show your kids, and yeah, you know, dude, this son of a bitch hasn't seen him. Like, like I like we we're friends. Oh, you 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 you're talking Marvel Infinity War. I was. That's what you were talking. So I, I, was, I, I, I thought you were talking to Call of Duty. Call oh no! I'm oh, sorry. No, I'm talking. That's why we're video games. Okay. Um. So Infinity War or Star Wars? Mm. I think still Star Wars. I yeah. Because I, I was a little kid, I, I'm really excited for Infinity War. Yeah. I don't want it to be that I'm not. But I, I think Star Wars is like when I was a little kid. Like Star Wars was. There. That's what I'm saying. The yeah, long play, right? Yeah, I think you got, yeah. Yep. So like, I mean, like, like it's, I'm telling you, he. I travel all around the country with this guy, and his parents didn't love him enough to like <laughs> let him. Yes. You didn't see Star Wars? Not oh, a one. You're missing out. Not a one. Okay, so you go back and watch like the original three. Forget about the next three, like the reboot, episode one, two, and three. Just skip those. Like, how bad do you like? The, like, so do you four, do, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you feel like like compelled to choke him? Like, I mean, that kind of makes you it's want to choke. Tough. Him. Yeah, it's <laughs> tough. Yeah, like, yeah, it's not. Like, you're, you're missing out. Add, add another submission you're, to the night bonus here. That's you're right. Like, you're like a partial person. <laughs> and he's a ginger. Yeah. So yeah, like, that was already like more, so, yeah. 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 so many fractions. All right. Yeah. All right. The, the 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 departed or the town? What's the better Boston crime drama? Um. Good. I like the Departed better though. Yeah, I think it was. They're, they're both awesome though. It's tough. Uh, but then you, got, there's so many good boss movies. You got Boondock Saints. Yeah. Yeah. How about um, you seen that? <laughs> you haven't seen Boondock God. Saints? What? You're going. No, you're no, going to talk him into choking me before this me, is over. <laughs> you just talked to me. <laughs> yes, Boondock Saints. Okay. <laughs> what else you got? Um, uh, Goodwill Hunting. Yep. It was a really good one. Um, uh, you said the Town and the Departed are both really, really good. Uh. Do you think uh, uh, Mystic River was that a Boston? Yeah, that is that a Boston one. Yeah, that's a great, that good. That's great. Do you think Wahlburgers defines Boston? Uh, <laughs> you talking the burgers or the family? <laughs> Either or. Either I, or. Uh, I mean, kind of. I mean, they're, they're yeah, they, they've done really, really well. Yeah, I think I think that you know the whole family's done well. So and then and, and what in signing off here? What is one thing about that you know we because he he lives in Pittsburgh so you know he's gonna have like he thinks that's like title town right yeah but we passed Gillette like exit on here yeah. and I'm from Indianapolis so yeah. I don't even like to talk about it. like I get like nervous and like cold <laughs> sweats about what Brady did us <laughs> uh, but like what's one thing about where you grew up that you think like because uh, we're gonna check out lobster rolls and we're gonna get hammered yep. we're we get hammered drunk here there you go later but uh what's one thing that people don't really get about Boston or the area uh, or maybe the, the Commonwealth in general Honestly, like in Boston, I, I think people underestimate how many uh, college kids are there. There's so many. There's like something like 36 colleges in Boston. Like it's crazy. Like all like right in Boston, not the outskirts. Like in Boston, it's yeah. it's crazy. Uh, so it's just it's just a, a young crowd everywhere, which is mm -hmm. always is always good. Have you ever parked the car? Parked the car in the Harvard Yard. Parked the car in Harvard Yard. See, that's it. Yep. Okay, how about this? I got this. I, I, we're driving in, yep. and it, the way the word looks on the sign looks like it says Worcester. 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 Told you. Worcester. <laughs> looks like Worcester. Yeah, it doesn't even yeah. fucking make sense. So right? there's Dorchester around here, 
But how do you? So, but Dorchester looks just like Worcester. I don't know. I don't know. What, I don't know. I don't make. No, the you rules. gotta know. I don't, I don't make the rules. I don't make. I don't decide that. But it's it's called Worcester. 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 Like so like there should be a F W I S in there, right? Worcester. Yeah, it should. All right. Yeah, there's not. <laughs> <laughs> Little's not. My man. All right, flow com combaters, check us back out. Uh, we'll be back on the road a little bit. We got some prospects to talk to here for really Lowe's on MMA. We're going to give you a tour of the gym, all this cool shit. Thanks for Joe opening the doors for us, and uh, we'll be back with you.